everyone, I'm Giulia Pedoni. I'm a tutor since now almost 11 years in Instituto Marangoni. I've been also director of education in Shanghai and Florence campus. I mainly teach subjects as collection development, research, uh, coordination of a collection, also drawings and illustrations, so subjects related to the fashion design area. I'm also a project developer, so I usually help students to apply for international competitions or to develop projects, special projects, let's say, between uh, brands, fashion brands, and our courses in fashion design. So what is fashion? We can say that fashion is a form of expression, in my opinion, without the use of words. Uh, it's about storytelling through clothing. Uh, it's also about the stories behind them and the ones you create around them. So it's influenced by culture, by background, also intellectual touch points, and you can trace to, back to what you're wearing. So we used to escape to the mundane, for example, or to embrace and celebrate traditions, as to break the rules, or to feel more powerful, or to boost confidence, uh, as uniforms, if you think about how we wear clothes when we go to work, for instance. You may change depending on your mood. Um, so really, fashion can be used in many different ways. It can be connected to art, to other fields like architecture, for instance, to the current trends. So really, we can use fashion in, our, in order to express ourselves, depending on the time we are living, the moment, the day, everything. So um, it's about a sense of history and pride also. And it's not just garments that we use to cover our bodies, of course. So uh, really, we can see through history, in fact, we also study fashion through history, how fashion is really the expression of the time we are living and how it changes through uh, the years, the decades, the centuries, but always being representative of what we are living in that precise moment. That's also why for our students it's very important to study fashion trends, for instance, and understanding what's the contemporary fashion panorama in order to become the future fashion designer, being able to feel and understand what's the, the mood, what people really are feeling in that moment and predict in some way, in the correct way, the collections that could be sellable for the next years. So how did COVID-19 impact the fashion industry in this year, 2020? Uh, we have seen that because of lockdowns, um, we had a big increase and in growth in the e-commerce area. Uh, imagine that sudden retail stores uh, that were not open as before started to switch to the online channels and again the brands started to, to sell more online and the growth the brands have seen on the e-commerce um, that they achieved, uh, it's a five years growth just in six months. So it's, it really speeded up uh, the process of increasing the e-commerce, this for many brands. This means, for instance, for us and for our students to understand new ways of selling clothes, not just in the retails. So um, studying probably also the online channels and the communication that is now more and more on social media rather than the websites of the companies and again understanding what could be in the future that is not necessarily going back to our older habits but the new perspective also due to the current situation that for sure will influence not just this and next year but also probably the next years in our lives so what will 2021 will offer uh, probably um, Hopefully, after this uh, moment uh, of global pandemic, there will be uh, growth again in the economy. We already have seen some countries being able to uh, catch up and uh, recover from this situation. So hopefully, um, also the market in fashion will be growing again, but probably, in my opinion, not excluding some new approaches, as I was mentioning before, for instance, increasing the e-commerce, uh, channels but also hopefully be more sustainable because what we have seen in this year and probably what will affect also our lives in future is uh, in my hopes the a void of waste so a will to recycle to use the upcycling method also in fashion so to use and recycle clothes 
fabrics um, so to avoid or reduce as much as possible the waste and have a more sustainable approach in fashion that is really something that we should um, take care for our futures. So um, the other aspect we may see that we have seen already in some companies and fashion show during this 2020, maybe will remain also for the next year, is a sort of a reduction of uh, pieces inside the collection or um, a slowdown of the fashion process of developing a collections for instance. So a bit less but better, less quantity, more quality, um, that's what maybe the future market will offer, but is also what I hope for a more sustainable future environment, also in fashion. So thank you everyone for having me here and I wish you to have a good day and see you soon.